1831, Joseph Naper, his wife Almeida, and a group of families settled into what we now know as Naperville. In 2006 and 2007, members of the Naperville Heritage Society conducted archaeological digs at the intersection of Jefferson Avenue and Mill Street and discovered Naper's home along with thousands of artifacts. Since then, the society has been working to preserve the area by creating a park to honor the history of the city's founder. Cut! City and state officials, community members, and President Abraham Lincoln recently gathered at the ribbon cutting for Naper Homestead to explore the area and learn more about Naperville's history. The archaeological discoveries that provide us glimpse into the human story of the people who call this community home has been made a reality. At the site, you'll be able to stand in the outlines of a few original buildings that Naper built. Although we are still preserving the original foundations under the ground, the park today serves as a physical reminder of where that original log cabin stood, that first trading post with the Native Americans, as well as that first frame home built with sawn logs from the sawmill that Joseph Naper established. They've interpreted the buildings in a very, uh, in a good way where you can feel. You can feel the spaces, you can stand in them, you can understand the changes from the 1800s to the residential structures of the 1900s. Naper would be so stunned. When Naper first came to the area, he worked together with the Native Americans. At the city's ceremony, members of the Native American community blessed the park. Our Native people always loved this area, in fact the whole country, and uh, that fact has not changed. Uh, we need to remember our heritage, how important that is to each of us in our own way. And I think this uh, represents a very good uh, attempt to keep that heritage uh, alive here. Many in the community hope that Naper Homestead can be an example of preserving history and carrying it on for the next generation to enjoy. I know moms and dads and grandpas and grandmas will enjoy bringing their children here to teach them about the beginning of Naperville. But the park isn't quite finished. Naperville Heritage Society officials are raising money to create a life-size statue of Joseph Naper, created by resident and former Dick Tracy cartoonist Dick Loker, that will stand at the entrance of the park. Naper Homestead was funded by a $350,000 grant from the state of Illinois. 